you know, I worked in government for over 45 years. And along the way, I have accumulated career milestone. First, as a lawyer in the Supreme Court, as an assistant chief counsel in the Department of Justice, as presiding justice of the Sandinian Bayan, and by an expected turn of event as the 24th and the only female chief justice of the Philippines. My milestone, I, I chose the one where I was president of Makati Stock Exchange in the 80s because I was the first lady president in the world of a stock exchange. Because, well, New York had it 2018. There's been, um, in the 80s, there was not. So it was like an achievement. I'm most proud of having been named initially as the CFO of Smart Communications and then eventually as CFO of the whole field group. Being been, uh, given that vote of confidence by uh, our CEO and the senior management team was something I'm quite proud of. It was a recognition of the hard work and perseverance that I have put in my work, years of working with them. The one that I would say I post for a bit before I accepted it is uh, being a country manager uh, because I was enjoying my job still with ING. I was enjoying my job as the head of financial markets. So I love the, the, that work, the immediacy, the urgency, the market that moves every day. And being a country manager, although it's a lot more prestigious, the position, uh, makes you step back a little bit farther away from that and become a lot more strategic. So it was that just because I was enjoying it too much and I didn't want to let go of it. I had a golden opportunity to do that for a period of nine years when I was president of the Philippine Women Judges Association. I saw to it that the Philippine Women Judges Association consistently hold convention seminars every year where judges and justices are um, made abreast of the recent developments in law, court procedure, and jurisprudence. I also made sure that our women judges are, are able to interact with our colleagues in the international community of women judges. I encourage women to, to, to sit on boards. I was one of them who started that women's WCB. You know, to encourage, in fact, I used to work with people to put in different boards, you know, especially putting it in the listed companies. Life is a series of choices, choose wisely, and be the change you want to see in this world. Always have a thirst for knowledge. Growth and learning will never stop. And there's so much to learn in whatever you're interested in. So that insatiable curiosity uh, will, will allow you to look at a lot more opportunities that you have not seen before. Sometimes the men just try to push you down so women have to assert themselves all the time, you know? avoid meeting sometimes you have to assert yourself if not nothing will happen that's why they always say i'm fight. Uh, do not be boxed into a thinking that because i'm a woman that i will only be good at this there is nothing no gender right knowledge has no gender uh, you can be what you want to be. On this Women's Day, let's celebrate the achievements of women all over and help build a more inclusive world.